There are a few different things that you're going to need to develop your own black and white film. The first thing is some chemicals. So I've got some Ilford chemicals here. I've got uh, some film developer. Uh, so this is going to develop your film. So get the, the light to come out on your film. The second one is the stop. Now, as it started to develop, it will continue to develop unless you stop that process. So this will stop the process. And then the fix, that will fix it in the state that it's in. So it doesn't, when you take it out, it won't continue to get brighter when, um, in, in light. So that will fix it in its state. Um, you're going to need a film developing canister. Now, um, this one, I'll show you the different, all the parts, but um, basically this is for 35 millimeter film. You can get different canisters for different size films, but you can see this will take two 35 millimeter films. And um, this is where the chemicals are gonna go in. They're gonna go into this, right into here. Um, and it's light tight. So meaning once I put the film in here, the undeveloped film, and I've closed this up, it will, um, light cannot get in. So I'm gonna be able to take this top off and pour the chemicals in here and it won't ruin the film. So that's really important. Um, obviously you're gonna need some film. I've got uh, some Ilford Delta 100. Now, just because I've got Ilford um, chemicals doesn't mean I have to have Ilford film. I could use Kodak film, I could use different films. doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, I, I'm gonna need some scissors. And one other thing that I really like, that I really highly recommend is this little extraction tool um, that it does a really good job of helping me get the film out. And I'm gonna show you that in a bit. And um, it's also gonna be very helpful to have a thermometer, knowing the temperature, because the temperature is important. Um, it doesn't have to be very, very precise, but it is important to um, get that correct. So those are the things I'm gonna need, and uh, let's, let's get that started. Let's start with the developer. Now I have a couple different developers here. The one I'm going to be using today is the um, Ilford Ilfatec DDX. Okay, that's one type. I've also used this uh, Ilfasol 3 before, but um, the one that I've got, the batch that I've got today is this one. So on the back here, there, I can peel this back here, and you can look on the back and it will show you all the different films and the speed of the film. So I'm I'm developing, so you can see there's there's anything from down to Kodak T-Max, these different ones that are on here. Um, I have this roll of Delta 100. So I'm gonna look on here and I'm gonna find the Delta 100 Pro. You can see that there. And, the speed is 100. So what it says is, the dip, depending on the temperature, the temperature, if it's 20 degrees, then it's gonna be 12 minutes. If it's 24 degrees, it's gonna be nine minutes. So it depends on which type of film you're shooting is your developing time. So this is really important and this is gonna be on the bottle. Um, I'm gonna mix these. Now, how do I get to these temperatures, 20 degrees versus 24 degrees. Well, over time, I've just practiced and gotten amount the amount of warm water and the amount of cool water plus the amount of developer. Um, so I figured that out. So I'll, I'll put that the information in uh, and share that with you so you can see that in the in the link in the description below. And um, but generally, because um, I shoot I'll shoot different films. I, I usually go for about 20 degrees. So the other thing that I need to do is, it's, this is really important. So it says here, this is the Ilfatec DDX. It is one to four. So what that means is one part of this liquid to four parts water, okay? And um, that's different for the stop. The stop is one to 19. So one part of the stop to 19 parts water. So um, how do I figure this out? Well, for example, one to 19 is quite easy because I've got this tank here 
and I want this tank to, um, I want to make sure that I have enough liquid in the tank. Now on the bottom of the tank, see if I can get the light right there. Um, there, you can sort of see it. So for uh, 35 millimeter film, it says 290 milliliters, okay? But that's for one film. So if I was only doing one film, because it says, let's see if you can see that here, solution per film. So normally what I'll do is I'll fill up the tank. So I'll use 290 times two, which is 580 milliliters. So how do I determine, for example, how much of the developer I need? Well, the developer is, it's one to four. So that means if I've got 590 milliliters, I need to go 590 milliliters divided by five. If I divide by five, that's 116. So I'm going to need 116 milliliters of this and 464 milliliters of water. Now the water is where I need to use the hot and cold water and get the temperature to 20 degrees. And again, I'll put that information of how much I do uh, in the description below. But for the fix, that's one to 19, you can see there. So for one to 19, that's divided by 20. What's 500, 580 divided by 20 is uh, 29. So 29 milliliters of the stop and 551 milliliters of water. And the fix will be different as well. Actually, this fix is one to four. So it's gonna be the same. Uh, it'll be the same as my developer. So it'll be uh, 116 milliliters of the fix and uh, 464 milliliters of the water. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make those mixtures for my developer, my stop and my fix. And I'm just gonna put them in some jars. I've got some jars here and I'll just put that into there. And so I've mixed my chemicals and I've got my developer mixed, my stop and my fix. And I found if I, the amount of water that I use, it's gonna depend on the temperature that you have, but a thermometer is gonna be really, really helpful. Um, I was aiming for about 20 degrees Celsius and um, I found that about a third of the water, if I made it hot and two thirds cold, and then added the chemicals. Again, it depends on your temperature. Now I'm trying to get it, it's not gonna be perfect. It may be just gonna be around 20 degrees, but I've done the best I can, so that's done. Now the next step is I need to get the film leader out of here. This is where this little tool is such a great little thing. This is a, a film extractor and Basically what you do, you put, you slide this part into the film in there, sort of push it in there like that. And you slide the first, first one forward. Okay. So you slide that first one forward. Oh, see how I wasn't holding that very strong. Slide that first one forward. And then I'm going to rotate this until I hear a click. Let's listen. Oh, I think I heard it. And then I'm going to push this one forward and then just pull them both back. And it pulls that little lead out. So you'll also feel a little bit of tension when you do that. So, so far I've been working in with light. I don't need a completely dark room. Now is gonna be the time where I'm going to need a dark room. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have all of my materials close by. I'm going to need one of these, one of these. Um, I'm just gonna use one as I say, so I gotta make sure that everything's around and close by. So this is going to slide onto here, but I'll do that afterwards. I just need to make sure everything's ready. I'm done with this. I'll need my scissors. And what I'm gonna do is I've already, I'm not, I don't want to ruin the first frame. I'm going to pull this like this and I'm just going to cut 
right down there and get rid of this part. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, um, use a spool here. And you can see it has these little ball bearings there and these, these parts in here. So this part of the teeth here. So I'm gonna start by just opening this just a bit. I don't wanna go too far and ruin the film, but that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this like this. Now the rest I'm gonna have to do in complete darkness. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do on the other one. So I have this here. You can see those two teeth there. And what I'm gonna do when I turn off all the lights, complete blackness, you can't have any light. I'm going to just feed it forward. I do this and I just keep moving this one. I hold this one and I move it forward like this and it's gonna slide it all the way around. And they'll get to a point as I keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, when it gets to the end of the film. And then I need to make sure I have the scissors and I'm gonna cut off the end of the film and I'm going to put this onto here, onto the spool. And then I'm gonna put that into here. And then I'm going to put that on top. Now it's really important that I have all these things. I'm not gonna be able to see anything. Your eyes will, no matter what your eyes do to adjust, you shouldn't be able to see anything. So I've gotta make sure I have all these things close by. And um, I won't put the second one on there. I'll just have, I'm just, I'm just doing one film today. I've put enough liquid in for two, but I'm just gonna have one film. It's just gonna go in there. So I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna see if I can make this work and see if we can uh, get this film on there. It's really important. Make sure you have all your materials close by so that you're not reaching and having to turn on the lights because you don't wanna do that. So let's go turn off the lights and see how we go. So I'm gonna pull out the film leader and I'm just gonna guide it along. Oh, really bright. Okay, so my film is in here. What was really important as I did it, as I was saying before, I really wanna make sure as I was feeding it in, I like to put my thumbs over this part. So the film, I would pull the film. So here's the film I've cut off the end. It's all the film is in here, but I would, it was stuck there, you saw it, and I would sort of pull it like this, maybe about 30 centimeters, a foot worth. And then I would just, feed like this and I keep my thumb over this because you don't want that to sometimes it will go over the top and you have to sort of feed in I don't want to touch the film at all so I go like this and then this would sort of feed up feed up feed up and then I pull it more I don't want to pull the whole thing out because sometimes it curls that's sort of not a it's really not a good thing and then once I got to the end I couldn't pull this anymore I just trimmed off the end and there we go so I only got one film in here that's why it's all okay so now we are ready and I'm going to use, start with the developer. And so that means I was using 20 degrees. Ilford Delta 100 Pro is 12 minutes. So the way it's gonna work is, I'm going to need the developer in here for 12 minutes, but I'm gonna pour this in, and then I'm going to use this that goes inside here, and I rotate it. I rotate that to um, I rotate that to, to agitate the film, and you do that for the first ten seconds, and then after that you bang this on the table to release any bubble because sometimes some bubbles might form on the film and that might affect the developing, and then you wait, and then you do it for another at, at the beginning of the first minute you wrote you agitate again so ten seconds for every minute. Um, the, the fix, uh, sorry, the stop is a bit different. You only do it for about 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and you agitate the whole time. And again, I can bang the bubbles out, um, and then you pour that out. And then, um, the fixer, same thing. It's going to be a little, two to four minutes. Usually I do it for about three minutes. Um, and same thing, first 10 seconds, agitate, bang, and then let the bubbles out. And that's how you do it. So uh, let's try that out. Uh, I've got a timer here, 12 minutes. So again, agitate for the first 10 seconds and then just let it sit for that rest of that minute. And then every first part of 10 seconds, I'm gonna agitate. So here we go. Again, I can have the lights on here, that doesn't matter.
start that timer and I'll agitate right away. So, first 10 seconds, I'm just gonna bang it. So now I want to prepare, so I'm going to have the film. I'm going to dump this out when the timer goes, and then I'm going to have my stop ready. And my stop's going to be for 15 to 30 seconds, so anywhere in there. And then I will dump that out, and I will put in my fix. And my fix, I'm going to make sure it's, you know, it's three to five minutes, so usually I go four minutes. But I want to be prepared. I want to just dump that out, and I'll make sure that uh, the sink has some running water. Um, but we'll get ready, ready to go. Now, time for the stop. Thirty seconds, and I agitate the whole time. So the whole time, I'm going to do this. Just get make sure that liquid is covered on the whole thing. Give it a couple things like that. Okay, we're good. Now, let's stop that one. Set the timer for four minutes. That's in between. Dump that one out. Now, it's time for my fix. And that's four minutes start. And the first, same thing, first 10 seconds. Agitate. So the next step is I'm going to um, dump this out when the timer hits, and then I'm going to wash the film. We've got to wash all these chemicals off. So I'm going to put it in the sink and let it wash for about 10 minutes um, and give that a chance to clean off all the chemicals. I just have the water going through here. The water is room temperature water, and I'm just going to let this happen for about 10 minutes, wash off the chemicals, and then we'll take a look. So, see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so we have washed for 10 minutes. Film is in here. This is the magic. Take that off there. Just let it drip. I'm going to have to dry it afterwards, but let's see. Um, now, to take this off, I can simply pull this out of here. And you can see my pictures so there we go i'm just going to pull this out you can see how it was wrapped around there how it moved in there and i just sort of curl this in here like this and there we go so this is where the film started and these are the pictures that i got so what i'm going to do is i want it to dry straight so, um, I like to use, you can use clothes pegs or anything like this, but I'm just going to use these sort of billy clips like this. And I'm going to put one at the top 
And then I'm going to hang this around a hanger. Show you what that looks like up there. So I'll put that up there around a hanger. And then I'll do the same on the bottom. I'll grab another one of these clips and just put it at the very bottom of my film. So I want it to dry straight, a little bit of weight on the bottom.